My name is Ryan Thornton. I'm a game designer at Dust514, otherwise known as CCP Blam. When I'm working on vehicles, I'm dealing with vehicle handling, vehicle fitting, and the gameplay that surrounds vehicles. Each player starts out using militia-grade vehicle hulls in each vehicle class. By advancing your character using his skill points, you can unlock new and interesting vehicle roles. One particular example is the Logistics Dropship, which gives you the ability to spawn mercenaries straight into your crew bay right out of the box. This comes in handy when you want to call upon your teammates to converge on an important objective. The power of a specialized vehicle role like this one, when paired alongside other advanced vehicles, is only amplified when complemented with each other. The number of ways and combinations you can use these vehicle roles makes the battle an ever-changing experience. Players are always surprising us with the ways that they use vehicles in Dust 5 and 4, and that's great, you know, that's the sort of thing we like to see. Um, one of the most recent things that we've observed is that players like to drive the LAV and uh, jump out mid-flight to get to areas of the map that they hadn't been able to get to before on foot. I'd say right now my favorite vehicle in Dust is the dropship, because it kind of affects the overarching strategy of the match. You can be fit in many different ways. You could set it up as a logistical agent to uh, repair vehicles on the battlefield or scan out different areas. Uh, alternatively, you could set it up as a, uh, a transport, either by setting it up with armor modules and shield modules to take more damage from enemy fire, or you could just set it up with afterburners and other speed modules to evade enemy fire and get the troops to where they gotta go. Like everything in Dust 514, the vehicle system goes as deep as you'd like it to. Every player starts off with an LAV, some players choose to specialize in HAV operation or other advanced techniques. Some players decide that they want to be a, a drop suit infantryman, even if you're not interested in piloting a vehicle. You can always choose to repair vehicles to support them in other ways. The possibilities are endless in Dust, and we want you to use this breadth of customization to enhance your gameplay experience.